Hello everybody, this is Keep Tinkering. I've had a couple requests now to um, show how the extractor mechanism comes apart and goes back together. So we're going to take care of that in kind of a quick video today, doing a little close-up of that. As always, if you run into any issues, just shoot me an email, keeptinkering at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to try to help you out however I can. So, to begin with, as you can see, this gun is clear. We're going to be, like I said, removing the extractor mechanism. The first part, field stripping the gun. My tool here that I've got is a 1 16th inch punch, and I've got just a pair of pliers with rubber handles. You're going to need something to push on the extractor to get it back into place. It's preferably not metal, so you don't scratch it up, but just about anything will work. Screwdriver handle or all sorts of stuff. We field strip the gun. We remove the striker, which is pretty straightforward. We just want to push, take our little 16th inch punch here, push that down, move the back plate, let that go, striker's out. So this, and it's kind of hard to see here, but this center little pin is what holds the whole mechanism mechanism in place. There's a little spring underneath it and it looks kind of like a little inverted top hat in there. So that shoulder in the pin uh, sits against the extractor and the tip of the pin sits through the extractor. So we want to make very very sure that when we're pulling out this extractor what we're going to do is push on this and then uh, the extractor will kind of pop loose and then when we pull out the extractor we want to make sure to keep our hand over this because if not, that little pin can go flying out. So just make sure that you keep that covered when you pull out the extractor. It's a little tiny, tiny spring, and they're hard to find replacements for, and that thing will go zing across the room. So I'm going to put some pressure on here. It takes a significant amount of pressure, so I'm sorry that I kind of blocked the camera here. You actually kind of heard it right there. So see how the extractor popped out when I pushed down? So right here, just make sure you keep this covered as you pop out the extractor. And the extractor should kind of rock out a little bit from right there. So we have the extractor itself. I'm sorry, this gun is heavily greased. I live down in Galveston, and I uh, anything I'm not using right away, I grease heavily because the salt air here is rough. So, more parts in this. So all together... Once everything is taken out, we should have a bare slide here. We should have three different springs. The string, the spring for the striker block, the striker block itself, and then we should have the spring that for the uh, the assembly pin and the actual extractor right there. And this little heavier duty spring is the spring that sits right here in the extractor holds everything into place. So, let me see if I can do this in a way that makes sense. So this is, like I said, this is the little pin you got to be careful of not to lose, keep something covered. I actually didn't cover it very well, just on disassembly right there, so if that thing had been zinging across the room, I'd have been in trouble. So, this is the uh, striker block, the little assembly pin, and the actual spring that holds compression on the strike on the eject on the extractor. I apologize, apparently I can't say words today. So to put this back together, first thing we're going to want to do is set the striker back block back in place. Carefully, it goes right back in its little hole there. And then we want to put the assembly pin back in. Um, oh, let me show you one thing first. This guy, 
the on both of these guys the springs kind of sit into them see how there's like a little pocket in there so just make sure they're sitting in that pocket if you're having trouble um, kind of getting them getting the springs to stay in those pockets sometimes you can use some sort of thick lube to kind of give them a little surface tension to hold in okay so once these two guys are in we just want to make sure there's nothing abstracted obstructed in there this guy he kind of slides into a little pocket so it's a little difficult sometimes to get it lined up let me see if I can show that see how it sort of slips into a pocket right there and it needs to be back and needs to be lined up just so All right. so once those guys are in then what we need to do is take the extractor spring and you can actually see it's kind of got a little spot right there as well it would help if my punch was not magnetic I keep trying to use it to move over springs and then it kind of brings the spring with it, which is a little bit inconvenient. Okay, so once that's all in place, with the extractor here, the extractor slips in from the front because it has the actual turn like there. So it slips in from the front, goes into place right here, and you want to make sure that that cutout in the extractor goes over the spring. Kind of just like so. Now, at this point, it'll be jamming up because your little assembly pin here isn't down far enough. So you kind of want to gently ease that around until it slides into that little socket. Which, like I said, can sometimes be a pain. So, at this point, the assembly pin is kind of down in its socket a little ways, and the shoulder of it is being held in by the extractor, which I'm pushing it on. So if I push this down a little bit further, the extractor should be able to slide over the top of it. Now, so everything's in the right place, but this actually takes a fair amount of force to get it far enough in that that pin pops back up into the hole. So this point, see how it's kind of sticking up there and it's not really wanting to go in? I think actually that the compression on the extractor might be giving me a little bit of trouble. Uh, yeah, the, the spring fell over. I don't know if you saw that. Where it went shooting off there. See how that little spring fell over? It's not super complex, but it is. It's, it's kind of a couple things to think about at once. Just take your time. Be careful not to lose this little assembly pin. It tries to go winging off across the room. thing is right now it's not going down quite far enough because the striker block wasn't all the way down. Alright, so like I said at this point you might be able to push on it with your fingers and get everything to snap into place but if not just take a tool like I said with a blunt edge and you want to push down pretty firmly Here where that snapped, that was the little locking pin going right back into place there. So now everything's back in place, nothing's flopping around, the striker block goes up and down, the extractor's sitting in the correct place, everything's all lined up, so we are good to go. Put the striker back in, slide it back into its channel, just like it kind of came out. Push this guy and take your little tool and hold the sleeve back. And 
Sometimes these guys can be a little bit of a pain to get back in. Oh, I don't think I had enough pressure on it there. Back plate goes back, that goes in. And now you're just ready to do a standard field assembly on your gun. There you go. Like I said, if you have any issues, just go ahead and shoot me an email. Keep tinkering at gmail.com. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Hope this helps some of you out, and have a great day.